40 minutes Pilates. Jen, it's 45. Uh, okay, so what are we gonna do? We're gonna start with our wrist warm ups. So you roll the wrists nice and slow. You wanna try to get them through the full range of movement, but not pain. You don't want any pain. Then stop directions. Just keep it nice and slow and go into the wave. Nice and slow. And other direction. Good, then just force out. Try and keep your hands parallel to the ground. Don't pinch your shoulders, pull your shoulders down. Then back of the wrists go together. Pull your elbows down, lift your wrists up. You'll feel a nice stretch across the top. So whenever you're doing like push-ups or downward dog, make sure you do this because this will call, give you wrist relief. So if ever you feel any extra pressure or it's too sore, uh, do this to take away any of the pain. But also, it's too sore, take a break. <laughs> okay, good. So, wrist should be warm up. Now we're gonna start with shoulders. So going backwards, you wanna do big shoulder circles. Try and get shoulders through the full range of movement. So keep it nice and slow. Try and get as many muscles to engage as possible. We're going for four. So, last one. Now we're going to add the elbows. So bring your elbows in. So it's trying to increase and get more muscles in the mix. Bring your elbows forward so you get a nice stretch on the outside on the shoulder. You pull up and around. Forward. Never judge your neck forward though. Try and keep your spine nice and long like there's a piece of string attached to your spine, pulling you nice and up. And four of these. Good, now we're gonna add the arms. So same thing, don't hunch. You wanna keep your shoulders spaced between your shoulders and your ears, and then slowly pull around. Squish a pencil between your shoulder blades at the back, then long extended arms as you reach forward, and pull around. So we're gonna go for four of these as well. So reaching up, tummy nice and tight, bum tucked in. Trying to get all your muscles to engage. Last one. Good, now we're gonna add tippy toes. So you reach up, nice and controlled. Don't squish, keep those shoulders um, pulled down and pull it round. When you go up on your tippy toes, remember, straight up and over on your tippy toes. Try not to let your ankles roll out. That's very natural tendencies to go up and on the side. You want them straight over. Okay, last one. Reaching up and pull it back and down. Good. Now we're going to go other direction. So we're going forward. So just starting with your shoulders. Try and get them through the full range of movement. So you're pulling them back, up and round for four. Two more. One. And two. Now we're going to add in elbows. This is almost like you're doing mini butterfly if you're swimming in the pool. Two. Nice and slow, really. Get every little muscle engaged. Remember, be conscious of everything else. Pulling up in your knees, bum nice and tight. We're going to add arms. So you pull the shoulders back all the way together and then reach forward. So pull it back. Round and reach forward. Two more. Back. Open your chest when you do it. Reaching forward. One more. Pull back. Reach forward now. We're going to add tippy toes for four. So up on your tippy toes as your arms go round and up and down. So pull back up on your tippy toes. Everything tucked in, tummy tucked in, bum tucked in. And reach forward. Last one, pull back, up on your tippy toes as you reach forward, good. Now we're gonna reach up. Now you can squish your ears with your shoulders. So you're reaching up, same thing, on your tippy toes nice and tall, like you're a rocket going to space, and up and over. Hold that and keep breathing. Then you're gonna reach up, and over to the other side. Just remember, keep breathing. Be conscious of what your, your body's doing. Here, yeah, you don't want to twist. You're basically like you're in between two panes of glass as you lean over. 
Good, then keep your fingers interlaced and pull back behind your head. So here you want to squish your shoulder blades together. You don't want to like shove your knee forward. You want to be in a nice line opening your chest. Then you reach up and pull over to the right. Pull that elbow in to your hip as you stretch over. Then you reach up and over to the other side. Get a nice stretch down the outside. You pull that elbow in. Then last one, reaching up, pull forward. You should feel all across your chest. And shake it out. Good. Just swing it out to release all the muscles a little bit. Right, so now have your feet hip distance apart. Nice and comfy. Bun tucked in, tummy nice and tight. So we start with just a neck stretch. It's almost like you're looking, trying to sniff your armpit. Then you want to pull, like lift the back of your skull up and forward. Don't squish it flat. And then just find where is tighter, because everybody's got different posture, different muscles. So their neck will be tighter in different places. So just find where is tight for you and hold that. Then over to the other side. So grab underneath your skull. Look like you're sniffing your armpit. Find the right position where it's tight and pull. While you're here, be conscious. Feel your feet tractioning with the ground. Try and make sure you're evenly balanced. You're not leaning over to one side. Everything to try and be symmetrical. And relax. Good. Now we're going to do half roll downs. So you're going to take a deep breath into your tummy. Shoulders down, long. Neck like you've got a piece of string pulling you up. Bum tucked in. Actually turn sideways. So, perfect pop posture to start. When you breathe, breathe into your tummy. And start to roll down. So your chin goes to your chest. You're pulling your shoulders back and down. You don't want to hunch. Then you're pulling your hands down towards the ground. You're pulling your ribs to your hips. And you're sucking your tummy in like you're hollowing up and over. When you get to your knees, you're going to pulse. Your eyes are now looking almost at your belly button, not at the ground. And you're going to pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're going to roll back up. So you're sucking that belly button to spine, trying to get each vertebra to tick over one at a time as you roll up. When you get back, roll the shoulders, pull them back, neck nice and long. Biggest width across your shoulders, you want them pulled back and wide. So take a deep breath in to your tummy and start again. Chin goes to chest. Pull your ribs towards your hips. Sucking your belly back into spine. Almost like you're trying to pull on tight jeans. So you're pulling everything tight. Your bum tucked in, you're pulling up in your knees as you roll down. When your fingertips get in line with your knees, Eyes are on your belly button. You just pulse for five. One, two, three, four, five. You should feel the pulse, a nice stretch in your lower back. Everything's still engaged though. You're pulling your tummy muscles nice and tight as you start to roll back up. Bum tucked in, pulling up in your knees. As you come up, you roll your shoulders back. Neck nice and long. Good. Two more. So deep breath into your tummy. Start to roll down. Chin to chest. Pull the hands down. Don't hunch the shoulders. Pull the ribs to the hips. As you tick each vertebra on the way down. You get in line with your hands in line with the knees. Also bend your knees a bit because this is about moving through the spine, not straining your hamstring. So we're going to pulse. One, two, three, four. And we come back up. So keep breathing through all of this as you hold it back up. Shoulders back. Last one. So deep breath into your tummy. Chin goes to chest, but don't squish it. It's almost like you've got an apple between your chin and your chest. Pull your ribs towards your hips. Tuck your bum in. Sucking your belly button up. So you're like hollowing up and over. Hands in line with your knees and pulse for four. One, two, 
four, five, three, four, five. Now we're going to keep going down. So carry on your roll down. Weight moves onto the balls of your feet as you come down. Same thing. Eyes are now on your knees. You're nice and relaxed. Bend your knees or soften your knees just so that you've got nice movement through the spine. Then gently rock or swing from side to side. If you want, you can grab your elbows with opposite sides and swing round to the right. When you pull to the right, you'll feel a nice stretch on the left hand side and pull to the left and feel the just stretch on the right hand side. Let's do two more. To the right and to the left. Then drop your hands and keep breathing. Also look at your toes, spread your toes, make sure they're tractioning. Okay, so back to eyes on your knees. Now we're gonna do half roll ups, four of those. So deep breath in, in your tummy, and start your roll up. So you tuck your tailbone in, you pull up in your bum, you hollow up and over, hands get in line with the knees, and you drop down. When you're down, make sure you're not looking at the mat because then you're hunching your neck. You want to be eyes on your knees. Hands nice and relaxed. So take a deep breath in. And start to roll up. So use the exhale. Tuck your tailbone in. Hollow, really pulling your belly back into spine. Pulling your ribs still towards your hips. When your eyes get, hands get in line with your knees, you drop back down. Good. And keep breathing. If you need to take a break, take a break. So take a deep breath in and start your roll up. Nice and slow. Really think about each vertebra ticking over one by one. Hands get in line with the knees and you're going to drop it back down. So last one. Deep breath in and start your roll up. Nice and relaxed. Eyes always on your knees. Pulling up in your quads. Tucking your tailbone in. As you slowly roll up. Now we're going to carry on going all the way to the top this time. Really think about tucking your bum in, sucking your belly back into spine. And each vertebra ticking over as you roll up. Roll the shoulders as you get back. Pull the back neck nice and long. And check it out. Whew. Okay, so now we should be warm. Hopefully. Okay, so next we're going to do a bit of a balance exercise. So you're going to focus on your, your weight. You want to make sure it's evenly distributed on your leg. So try and get even distribution between the ball of your foot, the side of your foot, and your heel. You don't want yourself balancing on the side because that's not going to help. So, let's start with the leg swing. So we're going to swing for eight, two, three. Make sure you're standing nice and upright. Leg is pulled up, knees is bent, muscles engaged, and you're breathing into your tummy. Shoulders pulled down. Last one, eight. Now we're going out to the side. One, two. Only go as high as you're comfortable. This is getting into your glutes. Five, six, seven, eight. There, keep the balance. We're gonna do openers. One, two. Keep your toe pointed, shoulders back, eyes directly in front of you so that you've got a nice long neck. Six, seven, Eight. Now we're going full circle. So round. That's one. So do what's comfortable for you. Everybody's got different flexibility in their hips. So if you want to do a small one, that's totally fine. If you're more comfortable doing the bigger ones, go big. It's all about just getting movement through the hips. Six. Seven. Eight. Let's change direction. One. Two. to go. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> Check it out. Good. 
<laughs> that link takes a bit of strain actually. Okay, so the same thing. Swap legs, start with the kicks. So we're gonna do eight, not kicks, just swings. Two. Remember, tummy nice and tight, lifting up in your hips as you do it. Try and get all your muscles engaged. Seven. Eight, and out to the side. One. Two. Three. Five. Try and stand tall. Natural tendency is lean over to the side, but try and keep straight upright. Seven, eight. Now we'll do our hip openers. One, two, woo! Three. Totally, totally normal to fall over every now and then. Six, seven, eight. Now we're moving into hip, full hip circle. So one. Same thing. Do what's comfortable for you. Try and keep the range of movement the same in each hip. So if one can do massive circles, you want to slowly but surely get the other hip to do the same. So rather keep that range smaller and work on increasing the hip with less range. And change directions. One. Shake it out. Okay, hips should be awake and alive. So before we go into our sequence, we're gonna just do a balance exercise. So back onto that original leg. You're gonna put your knee up in the air, arms out to your side, I don't know, I find that helps. And you're gonna try balance for 10 seconds. Close your eyes, balance for 10 seconds. Easier said than done, arms might flare, but keep breathing and try and keep everything engaged. So let's go for 10. Toe pointed, knee up, and let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and stop. <laughs> Good. Um, obviously, different legs are gonna have different strengths. You can see like my ankle was wobbling all over the show. So the other side might be better. Okay, so find your balance. Find a solid, like get your feet, toes spread, solid point on the ground. Knee bent, toe pointed. Shoulders back, and let's go for 10. One, two, woo, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. And I think the initial nerves make it wobble even more. But once you just relax and start breathing, everything comes together. Okay, cool. So now we're going to do a sequence. Uh, basically, we're going to start build on everything. So we'll do a move, do a couple of moves, and then add them all together. So we're going to start with Supergirl. So knees up in the air to start, arms out to the side. Maybe I should do this way. Okay. So you're just going to point the toe back and reach forward. Eyes follow. So when you're down, eyes are down. You lift your chest up and uh, eyes go forward. So keep breathing. So take it. Uh, inhale before you go. Then exhale as you extend. So inhale on the way up. So we're going to do eight of these. So exhale as you reach forward. Inhale as you come up. Exhale as you reach. Try and keep your toe pointed and try not to let your hip roll. So don't open. You want it to keep straight forward on the ground. And up. So forward, like Supergirl. And pull it up. Good. Forward. Pull it up. Same thing. Bend your knee if that's more comfortable. Forward. It's just about getting the body moving. Forward. And up. One more. Forward. And up. Good. Swap legs. So get your starting position. Nice and comfortable. Toe pointed. Shoulders back. Neck nice and long. Don't hunch the shoulders. And let's go. Forward. And up. 
So like I said, same thing. Don't try not to open your hip like that. Keep your hips nice and closed. So, super girl. And up. Keep breathing. Super girl. And up. Four more. One. And up. Nice, slow and controlled as well. It doesn't have to be a quick movement. The slower you go, the more muscles you're using in the process. Three. Last one. Four. Good. Okay, so that's move number one. Move number two. We are going to lunge to the side. So come to the side of your mat. Inside leg up. So you're going to start, lunge, and pop it back up. Remember, keep the lunge quite small because we're going to do quite a few repetitions. And if you start deep, it's, it's going to take a toll on your adductors. So you want to land, sink your bum nice and down, get a nice stretch to your adductors, and then pop up into a balance. So you want this to be nice and controlled and lifted. So you drop it down, you pop it up. Drop it down. Point that toe so it lifts everything up. Drop it down and up. Now we're going to add a twist. So you're going to twist towards the knee. So first you lunge, then you twist. You come back, you pop it back up. That's one. So you lunge, twist towards, and get a nice stretch through your hip flexors. Back to center and up, nice and controlled. Down, twist, center and up. Down, twist, nice and controlled. Neck up, don't hunch your shoulders. Back to center and up. Two more. Lunge, twist, center, and up. Last one. Lunge, twist, center, and up. Cool. And it's what's Go on, keep it even. So start nice and controlled. Toe pointed, leg up. You lunge down, you pop up. Lunge down, pop up. Gonna do eight. That's three, four, five, six, two more, seven, and eight. Now we're going to add the twist. So you're lunging down, you twist towards the knee, back up, shoulders down, and back, down, twist. Back to center. And also, do this in your own pace. If I'm going too quickly, feel free to slow it down. Do what you're comfortable with. So, lunge, twist to the knee. Back to the lunge, and up. Three more. Lunge, side, back, and up. Last two. Lunge, twist, back to center, up. Last one, lunge, twist, back to center, up. <sighs> Shake <that. laughs> Okay, so one more, move in the sequence and then we put it all together. So I'm just gonna do the side on so you can see what's going on. So same thing, start with your knee in the air, neck along, everything long. And you're just gonna take a small step back into a back lunge. Same thing, the further you go, the more impact it's gonna have on your body. So keep it small, because we're doing high reps. So that's one, we're gonna do eight. So you drop it down, lift it up. So knee goes within a millimeter of the floor. So you drop it down, and up. Four more, down, and up, down. Two more, down. Last one. Now we're going to add the twist, down, same thing, twist towards the knee. So twist, back to center, and up, down, twist towards the knee, back, and up, down, 
twist, back, good, twist, gives you a bit of a quad burn while you're holding it, <laughs> that's the thing with doing it slowly, it is more taxing on the body, but it's all about control, and last one, down, twist, back, and up, Check it out. <laughs> okay, so we do on one leg, we do on the other. So swap legs, toe pointed. So we're gonna start with eight of step back and up. Remember, point the toe as you come up. Nice and controlled, balance. Balance is so good to practice because it engages so many more muscles in the body. Four more. Lunge. Lunge. And up. Last two. Lunge. Last one. And the twist. Lunge. Twist to the knee. Back. And up. Lunge. Twist towards the knee. Back. Lunge. Twist. Half. Way. Four more. So you drop it down, twist towards the knee, back to center, and up. Lunge down, twist towards the knee, back to center, up. Last one, lunge, side, back, and up. Woo! <laughs> That's <was> cool. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna put it all together. We'll go through it nice and slowly. So it's not confusing, but let's start. Choose whichever leg's comfortable for you. I'm starting my left. So, knee up in the air. So you're gonna go hip circle, hip circle. Super girl. Bring it back up to balance. Lunge with a twist. Back to center, up. Now I'm dropping it back. Drop. Twist towards the knee, back to center, and up. So, that makes sense. Let's do it all again. Two hip circles. One, two. Super girl. Eyes on the floor, arms stretched out in front of you. Back to balance. Drop it down to your side lunge. Twist towards the knee. Back to center, up. Now we're dropping it into a lunge. Drop, twist towards the knee. Back and up. Good, two more. Hip circle, hip circle, super girl. Bring it back up to balance. Drop into a side lunge. Twist towards the knee. Back to center and up. Drop it down, twist towards the knee. Back to center, up. Last one. Hip circle, hip circle, super girl. Back to balance, drop it into a side lunge. Twist towards the knee, back to center, up. Drop it down, twist towards the knee, back to center, up. Oh, shake it out. <laughs> good, that was really good. Okay, other side. We do four on this side. So, get on your leg, inside leg pointed, arms out to side. So we're gonna do hip circle, hip circle, super girl. Back up to balance. Now we're dropping into a side lunge, twist towards the knee, back to center. Popping back up to your balance, dropping it into a back lunge, twist towards the knee, back to center, and up. Ooh, let's go again. Hip circle, hip circle. Super girl, back to balance, side lunge, twist towards the knee, back to center, pop it back up, dropping back, and twist towards the knee, back to center, and up, two more, hip circle, hip circle, super girl, back up to balance, and side lunge, remember keep breathing, 
And if you need a break, take a break. Dropping back into back lunge, twist towards the knee and back. Last one, hip circle, hip circle, super girl. Back up, drop into your side lunge, twist towards the knee, back to center and up. Dropping back into a back lunge, twist towards the knee, back, up, shake it out. Woo, nice. Okay, so while we're here, let's just do a bit of a stretch of those legs. So grab your ankle, grab your left ankle, hold on. Left hand to your right ankle and pull back. You'll feel a stretch into the glutes and uh, all into the side. And just keep breathing, pull your shoulders back, push your bum forward and you'll get more of the stretch. Then bring that knee in, try and keep your hips square, try not to open yet. Then you pull it to the side. Right open, find where which abductors are tighter. Then when you're ready, grab your ankle and flip it under. Pull it nice and close to your knee to get a quad stretch. Then when you're ready, flex that foot. And keep breathing. Shake it out. Right, other leg. So, right hand to left ankle. Pushing thumb forward to get more of a stretch, especially down the side into your ITV. Keep breathing. Shoulders back. Then pull it in into your chest, then when you're ready, open it up. Nice and wide, so you get an adductor stretch. Then, left hand to left ankle, tuck it into your bum. Pull your knees nice and close, and when you're ready, flex the ankle. And check it out. Okay, good. Now, go to the back of your mat, we'll do some roll downs. So, shoulders back, neck nice and tall, bum tucked in, tummy tucked. Take a deep breath in and start your roll down. Chin goes to chest. Really think about pulling your ribs towards your hips. Slowing it all down. Take deep breaths into your tummy. Slowly as your weight drops forward, it'll transfer onto the balls of your feet. Really think about pulling your bum in, tucking your tailbone in, pulling up in your knees as you roll down. Now, eyes on your knees, what are you going to do? You put your hands about 35 centimeters from your feet and you're going to rock forward onto your hands and tippy toes on your feet and then you're going to rock back. Weight goes onto your heels as you pull your toes off the ground. So forward onto your hands like you're going to do a handstand. So tippy toes, weight on your shoulders, eyes on your knees and then pull it back. So you get a nice stretch through your calves, through your hamstrings as your toes lift off the floor. Always keep your eyes on your knees. So three more, rock forward, lifting through those shoulders onto your tippy toes, and then pull it back. When you're going onto your tippy toes, remember, straight forward onto your tippy toes, don't roll out to the side. Trying to get movement through your toes as well. And pull back. Good, two more, rock forward, tippy toes, weight on your shoulders, and pull it back. One more, straight forward, and pull it back. Then you're slowly going to walk it out into down the dock. So here you want to aim it, pulling your heels down towards the ground. Spread your fingers so your weight's evenly distributed. You want to pull your hips back and up. So you get a nice stretch through your hamstrings, your, glute, your glutes. And just keep breathing. Keep breathing. And pulling those heels down. Now we're just going to do, up on your tippy toes, pull the heels down. Up on your tippy toes, pull the heels down. If you need a break and you want to go into child's pose, just go into child's pose. Do whatever is comfortable for you. The most important thing is to just keep your body moving. So, let's keep this going for three more. Tippy toes, pull your heels down. Tippy toes, pull your heels down. Tippy toes. Pull the heels down now, bend your right leg, keep your left leg straight. And we're gonna alternate. So you'll notice when you do this, you can maybe get your heel a bit closer to the ground rather than when you're trying to do both. It just helps get that stretch a little deeper. So keep going, right. And keep breathing. Don't forget to breathe. People often forget to breathe. 
So right and left. Two more. Right and left. Right, bring them back and just try to get them both down to the ground. Pull your hips back. And then you're going to take your left leg to the outside of your left hand in a nice lunge. So get comfortable in that first. Pulling your hips down towards the ground. Fingers spread, arms, elbows corkscrewed forward to get a nice stretch to start. Then when you're ready, you're going to bring your left hand up to the sky. So you're going to open your chest. Push through that base hand. Push through your palm and really open your chest up. Pulling your hips down towards the mat at the same time. And keep breathing. This can be as active as you want. You can really pull your bum, pull your hips down, get all your muscles working. Now we're going to do the big arm windscreen wiper. So you're going to reach forward and windscreen wiper back. Forward. As you bring it forward, lift up in your tummy, through your shoulder, and pull it back. Six more. Forward and back. Spread your fingers to get those finger muscles working. Forward. Three more. Forward. And back. Forward. Last one. Forward. And back. And back to your push up. Then you take your left leg back to your push up position. You're going to bring your right leg outside your right hand. So, first of all, get comfy. Pull your hips down towards the ground. Corkscrew those arms forward so you've got strong shoulders. And just spread your fingers to make sure your weight's distributed evenly. Pull your hips towards the ground. If you need to, you can make your hair, your legs slightly wider. That often helps. And then when you're ready, open your chest. So push through that base hand. Hand goes to the sky and really open so you get a nice twist through the chest. Pulling your hips down at the same time. And keep breathing. Then we're going to do our windscreen wiper. So hand goes forward and you look up in your side. And all oh, pull it all the way back. So windscreen wiper forward, open it all the way back. Forward and back. Forward and back. Four more. Forward and back. Forward and back. Three more. Forward and back. Last one. Forward and back. Arm goes back. Back to the ground. Pull those hips towards the ground. And when you're ready, right leg goes back. Down to your downward dog position. Get that stretch again. And then go down into child's pose. And take a breather. And when you're ready, slowly move forward into a lying, lying down flat on your tummy. Arms spread out nice and wide. So your forehead can rest on the mat. So I want you to squish your knees and toes together, toes pointed, but not lifting off the mat. So any of these exercises are more your upper back and your tummy has to be engaged. If you're feeling it in your lower back, you're not using your tummy muscles. So just make sure you really engage your tummy muscles, bum tight. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the door openers. So you're gonna lift your head, into a hover, eyes directly on the mat in front of you, arms extended. That alone should be quite tough. Make sure you're not feeling it in your lower back. Make sure your tummy muscles are engaged. And you're going to twist your arms for eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And relax. So the next exercise is going to be the W's. So you start with your arms extended, also in a hover position. So your forehead is like a couple of millimeters off the ground. And then you're going to pull your arms back into a W. Then you're going to reach and extend. But when you do it, make sure toes are pointed, pulled together, bum tucked in, because it's very easy to just arch your back to make it happen. You really, you want to be using your posterior chain, all your back muscles and your tummy muscles. So we go for eight. Pull it down and extend. Pull it down and extend. Pull it down and extend. Eyes directly on the mat in front of you. 
and extend. You don't want to look up because then you're going to hunch your neck. You want your spine nice and long. Six. And up. Last two. Seven. And up. Last one. Eight. And extend. And relax. So while we're here, extend arms out like they were. Take your right leg over your left and get a nice stretch. Keep breathing, try and get the furthest possible distance between your fingertips. And let's swap legs. So left goes over right. And reaching, reaching, reaching towards the left. You should feel a click in your lower back. Well, sometimes you feel a click in the lower back. And back to center. Good. Now we're gonna roll over. Sheesh. Running short time. We're gonna line our backs. And we're going to do hip roll-ups. So palms to the ceiling, heels nice and close to your bum. So you take a deep breath in, into your tummy, and you start your roll-up. So you tuck your tailbone in, which pushes your lower back into the mat. And then one by one, you lift your vertebra off the mat. Only go as high as your shoulder blades, because you don't want any tension in your neck and shoulders. You hold that position, pushing through your heels, and using your bum gets it back a little bit higher. Eyes on the ceiling. Then you take a deep breath into your tummy and start your roll down. <sighs> Spread your shoulder blades. Really try and isolate each vertebra at a time. Try not to let your knees flare because that's also a natural one. Then last to unroll is your tailbone. <sighs> so it's a small movement, but it engages a lot of money if you <laughs> muscles if you do it properly. So deep breath into your tummy and start your roll up. So you tuck your tailbone in, squishing your lower back into the mat. And then slowly, one by one, you're pulling your ribs to your hips or your hips to your ribs as you lift each vertebra off the mat. You get to the top, push up through those heels. Use your glutes to get the hips a little bit higher, get a hip flexor stretch at the same time. Then take a deep breath into your tummy and start the roll down. Keep it nice and slow. Keep your feet traction with the mat, get them engaged as you roll down. Two more. So deep breath in. And start your roll up. Use your exhale to get the curvature through the spine as you lift up. You get to the top, really push through those heels to get those hips a little bit higher. And take a deep breath into your tummy and start the roll down. So you spread your shoulder blades. Try not to get any tension in your neck and shoulders. And slowly you unroll. Good. One more. Deep breath in. Tuck the tailbone in. Really sucking your bum in. Pulling your hips towards your ribs this time. As you slowly lift up. Take a deep breath. And start your roll down. and hug your knees to your chest. Just remember, keep breathing through all of this. Then we're gonna do our dead bug. So, in your tabletop position, your lower back, with your feet off the ground, your lower back is pushed into the mat. Don't want you arching, because then you're not using your tummy muscles. So push your lower back into the mat, knees at a 90 degree position, arms extended in front of you. Don't lift them up, it must just be natural. So you're gonna alternate right hand, left leg. So you extend and bring it back. Then extend the right leg, left arm and bring it back. So this is called dead bug. So you just swap each side. If you wanna to add to it, you can lift your head up towards the ceiling and back, extend. Extend. Keep your tummy nice and tight, toes pointed, lower back pushing into the mat. Extend. Four more. One. Two. Three. Four. And relax. Okay, let's do one more set. So. Legs at 90 degrees, flex your feet this time, 
and extend. And back, extend. Six to go. One, two, three, four, five. You've got four more in you. Let's go four more. One, two, three, four. And hug your chest. Take a breather. Then when you're ready, let's roll up. And let's finish with some old ones. So, bum tucked in, shoulders down and back, neck nice and long, like you're a puppet attached to your head. Take a deep breath in, and start your roll down. Chin goes to chest. Pull your shoulders down. Tucking your belly button in, sucking it up like you've got some tight jeans to get on. Each vertebra ticks over like a bicycle chain. You're hollowing up and over, the weight's going to the balls of your feet. Soften your knees as you get down. What you should notice is your hands should be comfortably, hopefully, <laughs> closer to the ground now that you've got your spine moving in the last 45 minutes. Then you're going to take a deep breath into your tummy. And start your roll up. So tuck your tailbone in. Pull up in your knees. Try and get all the muscles to suck in, to contract as you roll up. Pull in your ribs to your hips. Then a nice stretch through the neck. And last time roll is your neck. Rolling the shoulders back for two. And and take a deep breath in and lift your hands up to the sky onto your tippy toes. Try not to hunch <laughs> and pull it around. Two more. Inhale up and pull it around. Last one. Inhale up in your tippy toes. 